So guys, welcome to another video on the channel where this week we are picking up a very special package. So guys, welcome to the video. So as I said, we're picking up a rather interesting package from my parents' place for the MX-5. It's Finally, we're gonna do another mod to this car, but don't be sh don't be worried. Behind the camera right now, there's a lot of mods waiting to be put on this car. And actually, the big thing that I've been working on, it's all in connection. So be sure to keep an eye on this space. In the next couple of weeks, you will see what I'm talking about. But without further ado, let's go get in the Mini and go see what the package is. Now maybe some of you guys are wondering, hey Anthony, when you're gonna be talking a bit more about the Mini and what you think of it. Those videos are actually coming really soon. Uh, I'm gonna do them in the style of 5 things I love and 5 things I hate like I did for the MX-5. But if you guys got any questions about the car, post them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them in one of those videos. But yeah, time to go. So guys, again, a bit of a fast forward and we are at my parents' place. You can see my dad's RF is here. Now, I'm really sorry, but I actually already unpacked the package because I got excited. Sorry, it's, I don't get car parts a lot. But yeah, I'm still going to show you guys what I got. So let's maybe... Ah, uh, wait. And it's actually the second time I'm doing this mod to the car. And this time I think I saw these and I thought they would look awesome and yeah. This is what I got. So guys, so yes, I got Mia a set of new wheels and I'm really excited about this. These came out uh, a few months ago and I really just, yeah, I just had to have them. So I bought a few and five weeks later, they're here. Now let me show you what's inside. <laughs> Flow formed wheels and three. What? Three, two, one. Yes, guys, these are the new wheels that are gonna be going on here. So these are the new Koenig Ampliforms in their dark gray metallic. These just look killer. It's almost the same color as the gun, the Mazda gray, uh, but with the difference that this has a lot more metallic flake in it, and it's just... Uh, I'm dying over here. This is just so cool. And these wheels are really, literally, so light. They're just, this is just awesome. This, so what is the difference between these wheels and the wheels that I actually have on the car right now? So the Kurodas are just a cast wheel. So those are a bit heavier than this. This is flow forms. So what this means is that this wheel got cast, but it got cast a lot smaller. So. Normally the cost will be about this big and then it got rolled out under intense heat and pressure to actually get the same effect as a forged wheel, which means that the barrel of this wheel is really, really light, which makes, really light but really strong, which makes this an actual really nice motorsport wheel. So guys, as you can imagine, I'm really, really, really excited about these new wheels. They're, these just look way better than, than the Rotas, in my opinion. The color is just spot on with all the flake in it. It's just it's going to match the pearl of the white MX-5. So good. And uh, it's really, I'm really over the moon. So what we're going to do now is take these wheels, put them in the Mini, go home and test fit them before we put the tires on. So if there are anything if, or if anything is a bit off then we don't get in trouble and we can still send them back but I sure hope everything is gonna be okay and then in the next video we're gonna put tires on them and mountain on them to the car I'm so excited 
let's get these in the mini. Let's go. Just look at that guys, the Mini is all looted up. It says there isn't space in the Mini, come on. So guys, we are back at home, a bit of a fast forward, you can see I got Mia here, I got all the tools ready and one of the wheels so we can test fit them and then the next time, in the next video, we will be going out swapping the tires from the Rodas to the new Koenig setup. But for today I just want to get these Koenigs on the car and just see what they look like and make sure they fit. So let's do that shall we? This just looks so awesome you guys compared from that to this I enjoyed this a lot more now do not mind the like silver lug nuts I'm still gonna get black ones to match but this is just awesome you just look from the side profile you can see the top of the fender is nicely in line with the top of the wheel so from here to about there it's all nice and fitting oh it's just gonna be so badass so for all of you who are wondering I didn't think I don't think I set the specs of these wheels so these are again 17s by 8 just as my rotas over there but these have a different offset so this is uh, it has an offset of 45 the rotas had an offset of 35 so there, these wheels will sit one centimeter more inward which will give me the opportunity to maybe lower the car a bit and go maybe a bit more stancy uh, that's something that i did miss after going to the rotor wheels now the rotor wheels were pretty nice but i had to jack up the car quite a bit to get them to fit with these very wide 235 tires but with these this shouldn't be no issue no more and it should be able to get a bit more clearance and get a bit more low out of it but really happy with this result now if we go check maybe we should compare so guys so over here we have the old rotas look really nice the car don't mind the gap the car is still jacked up because i have the amp before mounted but still this looks pretty good as well but i think these new ampliforms my god these things are gorgeous but yeah guys, that's where I'm gonna leave it for this video, so next time we will pick it up again where we will switch these wheels for the OEM ones so we can switch the tires from the Rotas to the, Ko the new Koenig setup and then we can get the Koenigs finally mounted on the car and I'm, I'm really, I'm so excited, I'm really, I really am really excited about these new wheels. But that's all I got time for this week. Thank you all for watching. If you want to know more or see some behind the scenes, go check out my Instagram. I posted all my stories when I'm working with these wheels and such. So be sure to go check that out. And I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye-bye.